this video we are going to work on multiplying polynomials. We've already looked at multiplying monomials and binomials. So now what we're going to introduce in this video is multiplying when we have trinomials. And the only difference is that every term has to be distributed. Okay, so let's start off with example one. Um, I am going to do, let's do, um, well, you know what, let's for a warm up, let's do a binomial multiplied with a binomial. So how about 3n plus 5 multiplied with 7n minus 1. Alright, so what we have learned is that this is going to be distributive property twice because we have a binomial that we're multiplying to a binomial. So what that means is that I need to distribute the 3n and then I need to go back and distribute the 5. So first up, um, I'm going to cover this up for just a second. So I need to distribute the 3n. So when I multiply 3n to 7n minus 1, I'm going to get 21n squared minus 3n. All right, now I need to distribute the 5. So I'm going to cover this up and I need to distribute 5 to 7n minus 1, which is going to give me 35n minus 5. So now I need to look and see, is my answer in the right order? Can I simplify it more? And I can, because right here I have like terms. So the final answer is going to be 21n squared plus 32n minus 5. So that is the answer when I multiply the polynomials together. All right, so now let's move on and let's multiply. So example two, how about um, 3m minus 4 and let's multiply that with 6m squared plus 2m minus 5. All right, so this time we are multiplying a binomial and a trinomial. So I'm going to distribute the first one. It really doesn't matter because remember, multiplication is commutative, which means the order isn't important. But I'm going to multiply the first one to the second one. So in this situation, that means that I need to go through and distribute the 3m first. And then I'm going to come back through and I'm going to distribute the negative 4. So I have distributive property twice. All right, so first up, I'm going to cover this negative 4. So I need to distribute 3m. So 3m distributed to 6m squared is going to be 18m cubed plus distribute the 3m. I get 6m squared and then distribute the 3m minus 15m. So that is what I got when I distributed 3m to that trinomial. All right, so now I'm going to go back through and I'm going to distribute the negative 4. Now I'm going to show you something that I do just to kind of keep my work organized because when we start getting more and more terms, it just becomes more and more crowded and confusing. So I'm going to show you what I do um, to kind of organize my work. So now I'm going to distribute this negative 4. So negative 4 multiplied to the 6m squared is going to be negative 24m squared. I'm going to line that up right here because those are like terms. All right, now I need to distribute the negative 4, so that'll be negative 8m. And then distribute the negative 4 here and that will be plus 20. So now I need to go through and simplify, and I know I have like terms because I stacked them together. So this is almost like a multiplication problem, you know, from elementary school. So now all I need to do is just go down and combine like terms. So my answer is going to be 18m cubed minus 18m squared minus 23m plus 20. And there's your answer. 
All right, example number three. So here it comes. This one's gonna be a doozy, all right? We are going to multiply a trinomial with a trinomial. This is as bad as it gets for what we're doing. All right, so important thing here is write neatly, keep your work organized. So let's say we have 9x squared plus 2x minus 6. And let's multiply that with 3x squared minus 4x minus 10. All right, I'm just making these up because we can multiply whatever we want. All right, we're distributing a trinomial. So that means we need to do distributive property three times. So I'm going to need to distribute the 9x squared, and then I'm going to distribute the 2x, and then I'm going to distribute the negative 6. So when we are multiplying a trinomial, we're going to have to do distributive property three times. All right, so here it goes. All right, first thing, let's see if I can cover those two up. All right, I have to multiply 9x squared to this trinomial. So I need to multiply everybody here by 9x squared. So that is going to be 27x to the fourth minus 36x cubed minus 90x squared. So what I did is I just distributed the 9x squared to the 3x squared minus 4x minus 10. So I had to multiply 9x squared to each one of these. All right, now I need to distribute the negative 2x. So I'm going to cover up that. So when I distribute the 2x to this trinomial, that means I need to multiply each of these by 2x. So that's going to be 6x cubed. So I'm going to stack that one right here because those are like terms. Next up should be negative 8x squared and then minus 20x. All right, last set of distributive property, I need to distribute the negative 6. So when I distribute the negative 6 to this, that means I multiply each of these by negative 6. So this one is going to be negative 18x squared. So I'm going to stack this one right here. So negative 18x squared. Next up, I have a positive 24x. And at the end, a positive 60. All right, so now what I need to do is combine like terms together. And again, this I like this way of setting it up because it makes it very simple to now just go through and add all these things together. So that one is 27x to the fourth. Here's my x cubed, so that gives me negative 30x cubed. If I put these together, I should get negative 116x squared. Right here, I would get 4x, and then here, plus 60. So there is your answer. All right, so if there's one thing you need to learn in this section, it's to write neatly. Take your time and watch the terms, okay? The problem with polynomials is that the work isn't complicated, but it's easy to make mistakes. So be careful, take your time. This is not the time to rush through math problems, and it's also not the time to try and take shortcuts. Because in the end, in order to get the right answer, you have to have all of these numbers and signs correct. So be careful and take your time. All right, as always, if you need to go back and rewatch something, please do. When you're ready, you can start your practice.